Let's start here. I know you uh, were a Pacers fan growing up in a lot of ways. What was it like to don the uniform to play for this franchise this season? Oh, it was great. You know, it was a dream come true for me to put on that uniform and obviously it didn't end the way we wanted to, but I felt like we had a really good season. Um, you know, overcame some adversity with Vic going down and um, it was just an exciting year to, to wear that uniform. The day after the season can always be a little bit of a tough time. This year was a um, particularly tough season with Victor going down and what you guys were able to accomplish um, in the wake of that injury. What goes through your mind? I mean, there have to be a lot of emotions on a day like today. Yeah, it's, it's tough. You know, it's one of those nights it's a little tough to sleep, you know, because there's so much emotion going through your head and obviously to end the way we wanted it to. And um, But, you know, we had such a good group of guys this year and the, the coaches did a great job with us. And, you know, it was just a... Uh, yeah, tough way to end, but I think it, it gives you that bad taste in your mouth that you're ready to, to work this summer and, and get better. And, uh, you know, I'm going to look at it as a chance to really improve this summer. And we've got uh, great people here to work with to, to do that. How would you characterize your season? I think especially when you look at the regular season, it, it kind of uh, continued on an upward trend. And maybe your best play happened in some of those really important games down the stretch. Yeah, I feel like I played really well towards the end. Um, you know, just I feel like I was a uh, a lot more aggressive, you know. Once Vic went down, it opened up maybe a few more minutes for the opportunities for me, and I really took advantage of that. I knew I had to step up my play along with the other guys we had. So, um, just going to continue to keep that mindset, you know. Just, you know, keep being aggressive and keep having fun out there. And, you know, I feel like uh, everyone believes in me here, and I'm excited to to come back next year and, you know, keep trending upwards. That backdoor cut I know has always been a part of your game, but do you feel like you still sometimes catch guys off guard with it? Yeah, I mean, I feel like they, they treat me as a shooter so so much that I can uh, occasionally sneak a, a back cut in there. And um, I feel like I had a couple good good highlight dunks this year, which is uh, pretty rare for me. So got to credit the uh, the strength coaches for that. That's what I was going to say. This had to be your best year in terms of the dunking. I for think sure. The dunk contest. Yeah, I mean, we got the All-Star game coming here in a couple years, so... <laughs> I think I'm just getting ready for that. Um, I'll, I'll have some stuff uh, ready for Banker's Life. How would you characterize the locker room? You've been in a lot of them. Mm -hmm. How was this year's team and how did it mesh from a chemistry perspective? We had a great culture, you know. Um, obviously, just adding Wes uh, towards the end was really all we did in terms of, you know, not a whole lot of deadline deals or anything. So having that continuity every year, um, I think that really helps uh, build a chemistry. And I think. Uh, we had a good culture, you know, they had a great culture last year. And I think we, we built on that this year too. And, you know, uh, just a great group to be around. And I think that um, that's just the way the Pacers organization is. You know, they bring in a lot of good guys and, you know, I'm hoping they do the same this summer. What does it mean to you to have a contract and to have a long-term deal in place as you head into the off season? Um, yeah, it just kind of feels like a weight's, you know, lifted off your shoulders. You know, the last few summers are a little more stressful. You know, you don't know where you're going to be. and. You know, this is the first year in a while where I can say I was with the team for a full year and know that, you know, there's a chance I can stay with them for a couple more years. So that's uh, very comforting and knowing that, you know, you got a, people here that believe in you. And, uh, you know, I think that's motivation in itself going into the offseason, knowing that you have a home. As it relates to off-season work, what's the balance for you between, I'm, I'm sure every player needs to get some rest, but also this is an opportunity for you to work on your game specifically too. I definitely, you definitely need to rest for a little bit, take a couple of weeks off and just relax and just uh, clear your mind. And um, from there, you know, it's back to work. And, uh, you know, I think there's a lot of good NBA players that, you know, play pick up during the summer and, you know, a lot of, I'll be with a lot of the guys on the team here. So there's always going to be something going on where we can improve our games. and. Um, we got a great staff that will, I'm sure, travel to us and see us, and um, I'm excited to get to work. What would you say to the fan base here after year one in Indiana? Um, the fans were incredible. You know, uh, people told me about them coming, and you know, they definitely you know, exceeded my expectations. They were, they were unbelievable. Uh, the support every night, um, especially at home, you, know, you could just feel it. It was such a home court advantage for us, and we really appreciate all their support. You know, when we land and we see people by our plane at you know 3 a.m. That's uh, not a lot of places to have it like that. So it was uh, very exciting. Congratulations on year one as an Indiana Pacer, and best of luck here in the off season and in future years. Thanks, appreciate it.